Why does, why does your head get so itchy when, when you have a hat on for a long time? Am I the only one? No. I asked you a question. Hello and welcome back to Making It with Morais. Today we'll be making iced blueberries in sweet cream and oat bread, which we were supposed to have made it last time, but we had a little interference. Even though we've buried that whole scene with the cream so swans. We are going to be making it today. So help me God. <laughs> Anyhow. And my iPad mini, I'm ready to just throw it across the room because someone didn't get my cellular data plan and the Wi-Fi doesn't work. So now I, I can't. The Wi-Fi works. I can't, you, no, 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 no. We, we, we have to do the show. Please, okay, please. Not now. Do you, I, I want it. Okay, you will have I it. I want it. You will have it, but not now. Okay, then do it. Let's waste more time. But did you... Hello? Yes. Did, did you, you exfoliate today? I did exfoliate. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Did you wash behind your Stop ears? Stop it. Let's go back and focus. You know, I really wish you would try to focus a little more in this show. Focus, focus. Okay. One pint of blueberries. God. Fresh Somebody help me. Two egg whites, slightly beaten. One cup. Slightly beaten, we're back to that again. One cup and uh, plus two teaspoons of milk or cream. Two tablespoons of honey, a pinch of salt, and two teaspoons of sugar. Why don't you rinse your blueberries? Okay, I'm going to rinse the blueberries then so that at least we can get started. It rinses the blueberries. The blueberries. Recycle, because here we recycle. You're rinsing it like Ots Lee would have to rinse it. Use some water. I did already. Rinse them. There's E. coli and God knows what else. Just those things are riddled with filth. Where'd they come from? From Chile. So they're probably clean. No one, no one, uh, no one knows what I have to go through here. You know, I, I'm, I'm not appreciated. Why are you, why do you have eugenics on here? Eugenics? Did you rinse the blueberries? Yeah. We thought it particularly fitting that the recipe is called creme bastard. Bastard is an early form of the word custard. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. And has no connection with one's parentage when used in a culinary context. You know, I'm a bastard. My custard mama, or? my mama, God rest her, she had like six or seven husbands, was never married to my genetic father. Mm -hmm. That's a true story. I'm a bastard, okay? So there. Who cares? I went and made something of myself. Okay. Smell me. So now we have to freeze the blueberries. Did you put them in the freezer? Here, I don't like your hat today. It's too, it's too limp. It's okay, don't I worry. don't like your hat, I don't like your hat, I don't like we your hat. We need to start it's cooking. Limp. Okay, let's go. We are going to start now with the... The oat bread. One and a half cup of, wa of warm water. Two tablespoons of unsalted butter at room temperature. You see the butter? 
It's too hard. I'll go to the pantry. Are you going to remember? Well, I'm going to try. I know I'm half demented. Well, why is there a large pumpkin sitting in here? I mean, is this just bizarre? Two and a half to three cups of all-purpose flour. Flour. Two and one fourth teaspoon dry yeast. Yeast. One and a half cups of rolled oats. Rolled oats. One third of a cup of diced dates. We need dates. Two tablespoons of honey. I mean, oh, and honey. One tablespoon of kosher salt. So honey and dates and flour and oats and yeast. Okay, for those of you who are a little older and have trouble, just make a little list and then go to your pantry. You are back. I want to make sure I get everything. You remember. Because I'll be blamed for anything that goes wrong. So, dates, flour, honey, yeast, what else? Kosher salt. Oh. <gasps> kosher salt. <gasps> Look at that, it even says kosher salt. <gasps> Diced apple. You were supposed to have that by now. <gasps> this is actually, this is diamond crystal. This is the salt that um, Thomas Keller uses at the French Laundry. Here, there's all your ingredients. I want the camera to show that I have re retrieved every single ingredient so when he forgets to put things in the bread, it'll be his fault, not mine. I'm not taking the responsibility. Today I refuse. Why is this always here? How about over here? That'll, that'll, how will that go with the flowers? Does that work there, do you think? Oh, my God. Does that sound like someone's peeing? Do you have peeled diced apple? One third of a cup peeled diced apple. Where's that diced apple? Why don't you start on the peeled diced apple? Diced apple? You were supposed to have that by now. The, the apple is on the fruit bowl over there. You don't want the apple with the bread? Yes, I do. Do you or don't you want the apple? In a large mixing bowl, combine the water, my God. yeast, and honey. So this is why nothing ever gets done on this show. Now, you know, if you're going to do a, a yeast, I, I would use the glass bowl because these metal bowls are cold and you do things with yeast and yeast has to, it's, it's an organism that needs to be activated because it's the gas that the organism creates doing its metabolism that makes the bread rise. If you use a metal bowl, it's gonna be cold. So you've picked a glass bowl. I would pre-warm the bowl. Go ahead. And, but you know, Where's all the towels? Thank you. Okay, two and one fourth teaspoon of dry yeast. What's so funny? Did you tell a joke and I didn't, I didn't hear it? Everything's fine. Go ahead. What's all that noise? Oh, it's the gardener. We're gonna listen to that while we're trying to do a show. Mm -hmm. We're gonna listen to the gardener while we're trying to do a show. Yes. No, I don't think we will. It's not you our gardener. Do gardening while we're doing a show! It's those lousy neighbors. And it's one of those backpack blowers, you know? I hate those things anyway. I just want to shove them right up there. <laughs> Stop it! From now on, no more shows on Wednesday. Oh, we're never going to get through all this. My God, we're never going to get through this today. It's 11.30 already. Because he's having a fit for some reason. Well, I worked all night saving lives. And so now I'm trying to save recipes. Gotcha. I have to give a full on performance while everyone else has to get through it. And those guys with those freaking backpack boys mm -hmm. are running. Two and a half cups of flour. What are you doing? <laughs> just standing You're just here. Standing there I just, that is not a cup. This is why your recipes don't turn, he used to call them recipes. That's in case you wonder why I mispronounced it. That one cup, it. two cups. Back before he was learning English properly, he called it recipes. And now he says recipe because he's on, on the air. My mama, who of course, as you know, had me out of wedlock. Three cups of flour. She would take a knife and she would take the flour 
and, and scrape the, see, look, see how that makes that, see? Now I need the apple, please. No, 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 no. You said you were going to get the apple. It was the only thing you were assigned. Why don't you start on the peeled diced apple, and I'll go to the pantry and get all those things you listed. No, no, you said I was That's all right, get I'll get apple. it. What kind of apple? A round red. This is a mushy apple. I'm not going to use it. I'm lost. I've lost. One tablespoon of kosher salt. Here, oh. kosher salt. Good. There's no business like show business. You know, I don't like that. Where's the peeler? Try to have your kitchen organized so you can find things. I don't know why this is all going like this and this apple is just, how would you say? Apple. You can dice the dates whenever you're done. Oh, I can? Apples. Thank you. I'll be dicing those dates. They put dates in everything in these recipes. Medieval, medieval recipes, you know. Well, where'd they get the dates from? They had to bring them over on camels and Language. Language! I have here the, the yeast, honey, warm water mixture. You add the oats. Go ahead. One cup of the flour. They'll leave these little things and someone ends up eating it. You have to talk to this camera. And they get it in their mouth and they got to spit it out. I'm always left with the chop chop. He wants to have fun. Well, you know, when you deal with people bleeding to death and dying of cardiac tamponade and all those other problems I do all night, I like to come in the kitchen and, and enjoy myself. No, I need the apples now. You're normally much more patient than this. Now, this is the way you served the, the candied orange peel, so let's just put more than it says. Now, one third of a cup of uh, dates. Chopped dates? Yeah. We're almost ready here to put the dates in. Here, take it, get it out of here, go on. Stir until completely mixed together. Gradually add the rest of the flour until you have a cohesive mass of dough and let you do it. No, I am not, uh, I am not taking responsibility for this stage. So you add the rest of the flour. I see, he always wants me to do the last piece because that's where it all gets screwed up and then it becomes my fault. No, I ain't taking any blame this time. Now, I, I know that he's made a number of recipes that have had either soups or stews, but you have to keep in mind, in the medieval times... That's what they, they ate. Go ahead. I don't interfere your story. In the medieval times... Is, is my head okay? Your head is perfect. Yeah. In the medieval times, they didn't drink water and use much water, except for, I mean, the, you know, to, to imbibe by itself. Why they not? used water because what? it was contaminated, it was filthy. Uh, they used water for cooking and then they would boil stews and all. So they got a lot of their... their um, Moist. Moisture. Hydration. Their hydration, that's, that's exactly the word I wanted. I they, they hydrated through their food stuffs and a lot of soups and stews would, you know, their meats, they didn't have refrigeration and they're kind of somewhat rancid. And so they would just cook everything in stews and soups, which would then kind of get rid of a lot of the bacteria count. And they didn't have stuff like Prilosec and Nexium, which would decrease their stomach acidity, which of course I th think you should be taking anyway, except for extremely short periods of time. Those of you who are buying Prilosec and Nexium out there constantly, you need to stop it. If you have indigestion all the time, you got other problems. I'm just saying. Like what? And that's not any medical advice. That's just my own personal opinion. That's all. I'm just going to go ahead and move, uh, move forward because you get so bogged down in little details. Gradually add the rest of the flour until you have a cohesive mass of dough. Adding flour as needed, knead the dough for eight minutes. If you poke it and it bounces back, you're done. And yeah, put it right over here. Here, the flour's right here for you. You need that. Did you put salt in your recipe? Yes. 
because you'd be forgetting stuff and blame it on me later. That, that's how this goes. So, okay, eight minutes, right? Oh, no, let's time you for eight minutes. Oh, this is some downtime. Is there anything you can share with people while you do this and make it interesting? Do you have a story to tell? I have a story to tell. Okay. And I have to read the story. You can't read to people. They're gonna, you'll bore them to death. They can always change the channel. They're not gonna change the channel for me. Did you know that in the medieval times, uh, are you making faces? No. Do you know that in the medieval times they used to uh, try animals in a court of law? Did you? Oh, no. You didn't? I, really? Yes. Like if, if uh, you got beaten by a pig or something. Beaten? What, how, did, how did a pig beat you? If he bites you. Oh, okay. Then they would uh, arrest the pig, and then they would uh, try the pig. There would be a law, an attorney, a lawyer, and everything. The lawyer would come. You're not you're very aggressive with that dough. There you go. Yeah, the, uh, yeah okay, the lawyer and, would come. And then they would try the pig in, a, in, a, in the court of law with a judge and witnesses and everything. Did what you know kind that? of nonsense is that? Well, it's medieval nonsense. Uh, there was, a, there was a, a one time that a town, Provence, Provence got uh, infested with rats. So they issued an arrest to the other rats in town. <laughs> Can you believe it? And then they had their other uh, trial date and they, everybody went to court and they ex waited for the rats. You the need rat to make that dough respect you. <laughs> Pretend you're doing chest compressions on a dying person. Do chest compressions. Go ahead. And so they had the, they had a trial for the rats? That invaded the town, Florence, actually. In Florence. In Florence. And so the- You're kidding. The day of the trial, everybody went to court, including the judge and the attorney and everybody. The attorney for the rats went there too. And they waited and waited. The rats never showed up, of course. And so the attorney asked for a more time to- A continuance. A continuance. And they, waited for the rats to come. On the next on the next time that they had, you know, a schedule for the trial, the rats didn't show up yet again. And the attorney was telling the judge that it was because of the cats who were lurking around and making it very difficult for the rats to, to come to court. It's true. This is insanity. I know it's insanity, it's medieval insanity. Chest compressions, chest compressions, chest compressions, chest compression, chest compression. The person's dying. There you go. There you go. There, that's it. That's it. Work it. Work it. So no, they would have time. Make that dough respect you. Just make it, there you go. Beat it. Go on, go, 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 go. Last minute, go, it's go. It's like boot camp, man. Uh, that's right, this is, this is dough boot camp. Work it. Go for the burn, go for the burn. Anyhow, they, they uh, had money put aside to pay the lawyers, to pay the, the place where they would uh, keep the arrested pigs and whatever other animals. And they would jail the pig? They would jail the pig, uh-huh. Okay, so then, okay, if the pig's found guilty of, of biting, what do they do, slaughter it and then they eat they it? They would hang it. And then what? They'll hang the pig. Hang? Well, hang the pig. You're not the finished. Pig. The timer didn't go off. There Keep going. One, there was one. Uh... Work it. Work it. Keep working that dough. I told you. That's why I timed you eight minutes because I knew you'd cheat. Work it. Oh, work it. Like it. Like more. Like more. Minutes. Don't be looking at the timer. Just do it. That's it. Yeah. Work it. More flour. More flour. More flour. Eight minutes. Come on. Go for the burn. Come on. Don't take any shit from that dough. That's it, that, yeah, yeah, there, that's what we want. Yes, yes. Keep going, your, your time's not up yet. No, oh, stop. Oof. I'm hot now. Rise, rise, rise. And so you want, you want a grieved bow. Now, are we gonna use more apple or no? No. 
Does it call for any more apple? No. Here, what does this say? Read that for them. I did already. It talks about, you poke it and it springs back, you're done. Yes. Yeah, go tight, real tight. Now look, poke it. Uh, now see how it springs back? Oh. Kind of. Well. Place the dough in a greased bowl, which I did, and cover it with a clean dish towel. <clears throat> or if you want to use a dirty dish towel, it's up to you. Put it in a warm place until it has doubled in size. Dr. Barry. Hello. A warm place. Can I help you? Can you put this in a warm place until it has doubled the size? Well, where's that going to be? Huh? So maybe in the microwave, do you think? Oh, no, we can't go through this today. Please. Look, just open the oven door, turn the oven off. How? He's going to do what he wants. He always does. This is why. No, it's all still fresh. It's all fresh. I'm going to the pantry again. I know he loves that pantry. He's got these little cashew clusters. I put the dough in there to raise for one hour. Milk chocolate cashew clusters. Why don't you double the size? Cashew with almond and pumpkin seeds. And a little bit of milk chocolate. And we wait. I see. You found the panettone. Well, it'll be one hour. But the dough is here in a warm place. And it did double in size. So what you do now, you punch the dough like that. See? Really? Punch it. It has that wonderful yeast aroma. I know, it smells delicious. That, that tells you the yeast is working. Uh-huh. We're going to make two loaves. Two loaves? Uh-huh. So you make a little bowl. This is going to be really good. And then you wet, you wet it a little bit like that, look. You want it moist. Make it moist. You want to make it moist. Because you want to sprinkle some... A sprinkle, uh-huh. Uh oats, see? Sprinkle some oats. And then... Do you, do you have a little bread pan to put these in? Now, what about putting... Don't you have a bread pan ready for these? We're just going to put it in the oven like this? Put it in a baking sheet. Set it on the parchment. Hey. Slightly score the top with an X shape. An X shape. Make an X. Place the loaves on a baking sheet and allow them to sit covered with a clean tea towel for about one hour or until they have doubled in size. Again. Okay, so let's just... Can we recap for the for our our viewers what you've done so far? He has the blueberries that have frozen themselves into Ooh, oblivion. I forgot the, about the blueberries. Let them freeze. It doesn't hurt them. Let them freeze. They're going to have the blueberries with sweet cream, but that comes later because you want to serve it and at the end. Very quick. We also we have our bread, our oatmeal bread oat, rising. The oat bread rising for its second second second. It's second coming. It's yeah, preparing for exactly. it. It's going to rise again. The second coming. And this, of the, we're not. We're nowhere near Easter right now, so we're not going to no. talk about the adult form of no, the baby no, Jesus no, or any no, of that. No, the bread has to bake at 400 for 30 minutes. Yeah, and I have your oven now going to 400 so that you can bake your bread for 30 minutes. Ta -da. The bread is going to cook at 400 for 30 minutes. Why we wait for the bread to be ready? I'm going to finish the iced blueberries in sweet cream. And uh, just as a reminder, two egg whites, slightly beaten, one cup plus two teaspoons of milk or cream, two tablespoons of honey, a pinch of salt, and two teaspoons of sugar. So I'm going to assemble all the ingredients. We have the egg white already here. I've got some cream. Where are my, where is my helper? I'm lost without my helper. I miss him already. One, two. Bring to just under a boil, whisking all the while.
Whoop, the bread is done. Ooh, it's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? A little dark, a little on the dark side. So you get rid of all that uh, thick mixture that's in the bottom. And the only thing you have here is a very smooth liquid. Now it goes to the refrigerator to cool off. And then you put it over uh, the frozen berries to serve. And you'll be back. And it's been making here with more ice. And don't you forget it. She said this was an addicting sauce. I'll be the, I'll be the judge of that. Get excited about it. I mean, so excited. So and today, with the help of Dr. Barry, we have prepared this delicious oat bread. And this is just divine. Iced blueberries with sweet cream. And don't forget, you made it here with more ice. Come back for more. Mm, definitely come back for more. <laughs>